Hello there. Hello there. Cole's here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. I don't know what all these horses are doing. I literally turned away to start recording, and then these all just spawned right in front of me. So anyway, uh, today's video, we're going to be having a look at the... What do they call it? The Showcase Collection Pack 2. So we got the first one sometime in probably 2018. And, uh... This pack includes all the builds that we got in 2018, even though we're getting it in the second half of 2019, but uh, anyway, um, so I downloaded it on Steam, I am on PC, not on PS4 here, and I went into the game, I was kind of confused at whether I had downloaded it or not, because when I come onto here, well it still says download there. But if we go over here, it doesn't say that it's in my library like it does with the other ones. Although I know it is because, well, I've got the stuff, so. Um, and when I say I've got the stuff, I don't mean that because obviously I already had it. But now we have a named version of every build. So we're going to quickly go through all of them. Because there's quite a lot. I think there's like 50... Four or 58, I can't remember which. Um, but obviously it's quite a lot of builds. I guess we'll start with this one because we clicked on it already. Otherwise it would just get lost in the massive list of builds that we have. So it's the Giant Troublemaker this is called. And you've probably, well most of you will have seen this already. Let's try and place this on the ground. I'm not going to place all of them because obviously we don't have enough room. So we'll just take a quick look at each one. But this is going to be like a whistle stop tour, as they say. Probably won't have enough time to look inside all of them. But uh, we have like this chest here. And these coins, which go into like a, a kind of a staircase, I think. Yeah, there we go. Sort of. Which go up inside. And, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of rooms inside, which you can check out. Pretty cool. And I think, yeah, the eyes, you can go out of the eyes. Uh, oh, no, it's the, uh, the studs in the back of it, rather. But there's a, there's a room upstairs. So, yeah, pretty cool. And it looks, I mean, it's like an exact replica of the Troublemaker, isn't it? Very well designed and put together build. Alright, uh, now for the next one. Alright, then the next one we have is, well, we'll start from the bottom, as I said. We've got the Egg House, so this is one of the Easter builds. I can't remember which year it was, I'm guessing it was Easter 2018. I think that is right. So we've got a bunch of, like, egg market stalls around the place, and we've got, like, a... A house inside of an egg. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can check out all the floors. We don't really have time, so... I'll have a quick nose. Got a nice lounge area up here. Some giant suites and things. Very cool. How do we get out? There we go. So yeah, that is... Wait, what did they call this one? I don't even know. Alright, well there's the carousel. Jeez, this is going to be a nightmare. Um, okay, let's go from the top then, I guess. And we'll just meet in the middle. 60th anniversary model. Alright, so this is a pretty cool one. This is a, a giant brick with a bunch of kind of micro sets. Got a very cool looking pirate ship there. On a little waterfall. And obviously there's the yellow castle underneath. And we've got a train with a train line here. And a jet as well. With a bit of a skyline behind. Very cool. And obviously the classic space spaceships in here. With some stars. So uh, yeah, that's about it for that one. Um, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh, 
Why does it t keep taking us to the back? Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, the Helter Skelter. I think we missed the carousel, didn't we? Alright. So the Helter Skelter. Very nice build for, say, a theme park, which is what I'm building here. It's kind of small. It's obviously made for kids. Um, we're a bit too big for this. We don't exactly fit. But it's still a very cool build. Build, nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, let's go to the next one. We have the Ferris wheel. Pretty sure I already have two versions of this. In fact, was this in the last showcase pack? I don't know, I hope not. Alright, so, but yeah, I mean, I keep saying that like, you've probably already seen this, because you probably have, but I guess if you're watching this, you might not have, and that's why you're watching. So yeah, it's a very cool build. Unfortunately, it doesn't go around. We don't have those kind of uh, mechanics and physics in the game. Oh, I thought we could... Ah, uh, never mind. So yeah, you can open the cabin doors. It looks pretty cool. If you want, you can change the seats out for ones that you can actually sit on. That's a pretty fun thing to do. But yeah, it looks amazing, especially with the uh, the lights around the outside. And now for the next one, we have the City Hospital. I actually think I missed this one. We get no ambulance. Damn it, no. That's all I wanted. Alright, we go inside. Um, here we've got a nice reception desk, a waiting area, a payphone if you need one. And then we have a ward in here. Alright, I feel like this is kind of a waste of space here. There's nothing in here. Uh, we've got another room up here. We've got a helipad out there. And another room up here, which is also empty, so I guess you can put in uh, some kind of private rooms to see your doctor. Okay, let's done that again. Alright, then we have the country villa. A very cool looking house, very nice. I mean, we don't really have many... Well, I don't think I've ever seen a house like this in England. But I'm, I know Europe has stuff like this. So we go inside. We've got a bunch of rooms. Kitted out, a kitted out kitchen. I mean, look at this stove over here. Very, very nice. And we've also got a, a basement. Nice. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. So, alright, we have the arcade next. There we go. Let's get rid of that one. Let's turn it to face us. And, yeah, it's basically a giant arcade. And inside you've got a bunch of games and stuff you would see. You guessed it, inside of an arcade. I really like how they did the joysticks. That's very cool. And then we go upstairs. What do we have up here? We've got a dance mat. Or two dance mats, rather. We've also got a, a hockey table. And what's up here? Got some, like, ride-on things as well as a, a racing arcade game. And is there anything up here? Let's quickly have a look. Oh, it, like a pinball machine. Or is it... I don't know, what do you call it? 
can't think of uh, the name. Oh, ski ball. That's the one. Okay, then we've got the barber shop. Uh, very cool. First time I saw this, I thought it was like a waffle house. But then, well, you know, I was kind of questioning why a waffle would have hair and a beard and a moustache, sorry. And that's because it's actually a barber shop. As you can see, very nice. Very nice building. And the next one we have a coffee shop. So I like these kind of modular city builds. I wish we got some more of these. Because they're definitely fun to use to build like good looking cities. I really like the coffee cup. It's a very cool sign. And also this. Like where it says coffee here. With like the four tones of kind of orangey yellow. And also this part here on the corner they have is basically a teapot. And also the curved windows, they look good. Alright, next one. We have is uh, the hotel lobby. So this is an incom this is like an incomplete building. There is actually a complete version of it. Uh, it's somewhere on my channel and there'll be a link in the description to find the full build. And this was built by a lad called Jasper. I'm afraid I don't know his second name, so he's just Jasper. It's a very cool build. Um, it's kind of a bit small for a hotel, but obviously it's Lego Worlds. So you can extend it and build it as big as you want, really, so. Yes, very nice. And then next of all, we have the Celebration logo, which is like a, a road car tunnel. Except the arrows are the wrong way around. So I'm from the UK. But we drive on the left. So the forward arrow should be on the left for me. I guess I'll have to uh, change that around in my own time. But yeah, it says celebration. I really like like these neon bright colours that light it up. Looks really cool. And then we have the Lego World's logo. Made out of Lego. So that's definitely awesome. Alright, next one. We have the Creation Badger. So... I can't remember what relevance the Badger has to LEGO Worlds. Maybe it was like a code name or something for the game. I can't remember. But we have a giant Badger in the middle. Then we have, well, basically the toys that we get in the game. But like giant versions of them. And if you go inside, I think... Well, in the original version, there was a Badger. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a Badger in here. But we've got like mini versions of all the biomes, which is really cool. Alright, let's go out here. Check that the badger didn't like escape anywhere. I don't think there was one in there, to be honest. Alright, and now for the next one. Uh, the Pugsy Treehouse. So this is pretty cool. It's like a landing pad for the Pugsy rocket. If you've unlocked it in the game, I haven't yet. Because I think you need 200 gold bricks and I'm at 141. But yeah, it's basically like a, a landing pad base inside of a tree. I've also got like this porter loo toilet in here, which is cool. No sink though, so uh, yeah, we'll have to have words with the creator. Oh, we've got a beehive. Let's try and avoid that. I don't want to get stung. Got a nice little sitting area. And uh, some science stuff and some bunk beds. Very nice. And let's quickly climb to the top if I can get out. Oh. I could have just walked up. Okay. I really like this. 
it's a good use of the different shaped bricks and also the blue like light up color looks really good okay let's have a look at the next one there's so many I don't even know how many have we've done the golden brick bridge The Golden Brick Bridge. Okay, so we have like four minifigures. Not a giant. The astronaut. The intergalactic girl. The forest man. And the trader. And they're all holding up these gold bricks. Which are holding up this bridge. And you can connect this to the road parts as well. Which is really nice. And also the way it's lit up. Is always a bonus. But I, I think the astronaut looks really cool, especially with his oxygen pack thing on the back. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, the Imperial Outpost. I was a big fan of these, like, well, the animal-shaped islands. We have a dolphin, I think, an octopus, and a crab. I mean, they're very cool builds for making, like, a... I guess like a seaside resort or a water park or something like that. Wait, how come we can't place it? What's going on? It, it usually shows the shadow. That's how I tell if something's on the ground or not. But for some reason, it hasn't. It won't do that. Oh well. Shit. All right, I can't remember what that one was called that we just placed. There's this. What was this called? The, sh the crab shipwreck thingy island majig or something. But you can see why I like these builds. Oh no, this one's a manta ray. Why did I think it was a dolphin? What happened to the dolphin one? Alright, now I'm confused. How did we end up on this one? So we've got the crab. The manta ray. We've got like this temple on here. You can go inside as well some traps in there so be careful then on this one obviously this one's the shipwreck on a little island got a little rowing boat there as well as your bird's nest up here put a bunch of cannonballs around the place as well and some crates and crabs and all kinds of stuff Uh, oh, there it is. The Imperial Outpost, it's called. So, get rid of those two. Alright. Yeah, so this is a nice build. There's a rowing boat with a cannon, and you've got a nice little pier. Alright, and a little staircase up as well. It's a nicely designed building. Got a ladder here. Going to look this little turret at the top. Of a cannon. Oh, I was about to fire it over there. Let's fire it over there. That's probably a better idea. Let's get that squirrel. Let's run away in fear. Ah, uh, so yeah, we've got another cannon on here, some cannonballs, and yes, another very nice build. Oh, it also comes with a dolphin, I think, in case you wanted one. Then we have the treasure caves, obviously you can tell what the, sh what the shape of this one is. That's the shape of a, a squid, clearly. I really like this entrance with the grass, like it doesn't block your entrance. It's literally like jumping through grass. Now we've got some crates in here, we've got some stalactites? I can't remember whether they're stalagmites or stalactites. Which are the ones that go up, which are the ones that go down? Let me know in the comments please. And uh, yeah, we've got some treasure up here as you would expect. From like a treasure cove thing. 
Okay, next one. Jeez, this is already taking a long time. We've got a long way to go. The beach resort. So yeah, as I was saying about those island builds, they're good for like water parks or, you know, seaside resorts. And so is this. It just carries on with the theme. Obviously it's not an island. Although it is on stilts, so you could put it in water, I guess. It's a very nice little restaurant. Well, it's quite a big restaurant, actually. This is the upstairs that we're on at the moment. Got some nice balconies to check out the view. And, uh, yeah, then we've got the downstairs. We've got some fish tanks here with, I don't know what they are, some dead creatures. Oh, we've got the tables all laid out. Very cool. Okay, I think this side is actually the fr Yeah, this is the front. You get a giant lobster sign up there. Oh, we actually missed this bit of a balcony. We've got some outside seating with umbrellas for each one. They look really good, actually. Very nicely designed. What the... What is this? What is that made from? I don't even know. Oh well. Very cool. Okay. Uh, and then we have the ice cream shop. Which again, carrying on with, I guess, the holiday resort of theme. This is another good addition. I actually have it in my theme park over there somewhere. As well as uh, the Waffle House, as you can see right there. Come on, open. Alright, so yeah, it's this thing's really cool. The ice cream counter. Got all the different flavours. Very nicely detailed, you've got the fridge back there. Got all the cones. And uh, I guess like the whippy ice cream. Or some kind of smoothie or something. And we got a little fridge here with ice creams as well. Uh, on another one. And some more seating upstairs with balconies. Very cool. Alright, and the next one we have is the Hero Cloud Castle. Now, this is going to be up in the air, but it's going to take us a while to get up there otherwise. Uh, I'll just place it on the ground, I think. I think right here will do fine. So when this is up in the sky, it looks really good. I mean, it looks good on the ground as well, but... You know what I mean. Could probably do with some more detail on the inside. But there's quite a lot of props. We've got the throne over there. We've got the King's Feast. We've got a hole in the, in the ground. That's probably not a very good idea. And front entrance. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going, I'm probably talking about these in too much detail because there's a lot more to go, so let's try and hurry it up. Alright, and then we've got a kind of lookout tower. I forgot to see what it was called. But you can kind of see what it is. It's the sort of thing that Ezio would jump off of into a pile of hay. Got a bunch of rooms. A very detailed build. Looks great from the in from the outside, rather. And so did the other one. Alright, next one we have the villain cloud castle. So continuing the theme of the cloud castles. Now this one's really cool because of the skull at the front here. Although it doesn't have the lower jaw. I wonder what happened to it. And obviously this is a, a villain castle. They've gone for the black and red colour scheme. As well as putting a boiling poisonous cauldron in the middle. Okay, the next one we have the Villain Cloud Tower. So this is like a kind of prison 
thing. Uh, yeah, so you'll just hang inside of these cages. There's a load of human remains. I don't... I hope I never get put in one of those. There's also a dragon skull in there. I don't know how they managed to get a dragon in one of those. Yeah, there's a bunch of skeletons all over the place on this. A very cool build, nonetheless. I mean, I've said that for pretty much all of them, I know. We have a Ninjago City build 1. What did, what did they call it? Was it? Did it say Q1? That might have been what it said. Basically just the first quarter of the Ninjago City builds. Uh, Ninjago City Q2. I guess we'll just put them all together. And, uh, I mean, I've got loads of videos on this, so... You've probably seen them already. How do, how, how do you get this, like, perfectly aligned? Such a nightmare. Uh... Yeah, we didn't do a great job of aligning them, but it'll do. If you're driving a car, you'll just have to kind of jump across that gap right there. Oh, it's no big deal. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to see in these Ninjago City builds. Obviously, I'm not going to show it now because we don't have time. And as I said, I've, like, you know, there's loads of videos of the complete city. So... If that's what you want to see, I guess go and check it out. But it's also the Ninjago City Pufferfish Restaurant, which is quite nice. Let's have a quick look inside. Um, you've got your tables and chairs, your bar at the back. It's quite nicely decorated. Certainly an interesting build, an interesting concept. That massive window of a mouth is really cool. And also, the door is in the rear end. Okay, next one. Uh, the Egyptian bathhouse. So now we come to all the Egyptian builds. Unfortunately, we've made a mess. We've put water everywhere. Um, but yeah, this one's really cool. Like, that alligator on the top is very nicely designed, very well made. And it's really cool how it has the water like flowing out of its mouth into this pool right here. And yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff to check out in here. Definitely have a look. If you haven't already. And oh my god, it's placed even more water. We're just making an absolute mess. Oops, I just accidentally missed one as well. Great. So we've got the Egyptian temple here. As you can imagine, there's stuff inside to check out. Now, is this the one with the alien... Oh yeah, it's got the alien eggs in. It's like the alien spacecraft from Prometheus. It has the eggs in. And then it also has this here. The jockey's chair. The engineer's cockpit. I guess you could call it. Basically where they fly the ship from. It's definitely a very cool thing about this build. This was probably my favourite of the Egyptian builds. Just because of that. And the scorpion on the front looks really cool as well. Uh, next one, the Egyptian Cat Palace. Well, having said that, these cats are really good as well. We've got the, uh, the Pharaoh's throne right here. And we've got some more of these cat statues inside. It just looks really good. Um, oops. I guess we're doing the 1950s garage now. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, 1950s builds. This is the one that you get that mechanic dude with, the 1950s mechanic. Uh, so when I opened up the game just now to play it, uh, that like it said that I, I, I unlocked him. 
Like you know when you unlock stuff and it like pops up on the screen, makes that noise. Yeah, I did that, but I'd already unlocked it, so I don't know what that was all about. Um, but yeah, I mean it's just a petrol station, isn't it? With a little garage, I guess, to fix a punctured tyre to replace it, or do an oil change, or stuff like that, you know? Okay, I guess we're doing the Wild West Fort now. Because that's the one we highlighted. Because once you've, like, once you've, like, hovered over it on that menu, it goes into the list of builds. Like, it just goes to its place. Rather than being at the top with a star next to it. So, this is definitely... Very cool build. I like I like all the Western builds in the game. Just because I like Western movies. And also like Red Dead Redemption. You know, you definitely get that kind of vibe from this. It's one of the first missions in Red Dead Redemption where you go to a fort and as you're approaching it, some guy on the top just like shoots you. I don't know if you remember that scene, but that's what this fort reminds me of. Very cool. Okay, next one. We have... Oh yeah, the Wild West Blacksmith. So we accidentally, accidentally skipped this one. Um, so, so it just looks like a house. Then we've got the wood chopping axe and the logs at the back. And then you've got the furnace with all the metal working tools make swords and blacksmith shit. Like, horseshoes, I guess. There's also a very cool sign. Look at this. It's a hammer. Okay, next one. Oh yeah, let's quickly have a look at the one that I skipped earlier, which was the carousel. Yep, this one looks really cool. So you've got a swan. You've got a horse pirate ship and a classic spaceship. They've really done well with the colours, with gold and also the use of this part here makes it look really good. Alright, next one. Oh my god, it's nearly it's nearly morning. It's 4.25am now so we we'll need to hurry up. I think we've nearly got through them. Okay, we've got the Wild West Gold Mine. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This is cool. So at the top, it's like the mine build. Which I did, like, there was already a mine build. Which I really liked. But it didn't have anything inside. You kind of had to build the inside of a mine. It was basically the entrance and that was it. Um, so yeah, this has like a, a rail cart line. Well, it only goes to here. And then you can walk down and another rail car line goes through here, through here, and then stops here. And then you can walk through into this part. And uh, yeah, you've got like dinosaur remains and stuff, as well as a dead body of a miner. That is like a coal miner, not a 10 year old boy. But yeah, this is, oh, it's also got this water tower here. And the little kind of conveyor belt things that they have. I've right, also got the fish skeleton on the outside there. As well as a bunch of other features on this. It's definitely a cool build. I mean, most of them are. Okay, the next one is the Wild West Hideout. So in one of my worlds, I actually put this build... I kind of, you know, merged it, blended it into the land, I should say. Because obviously it's kind of like a little ditch, a little cliff face. And it just kind of stops there. So you have to continue it yourself. Uh, so we have this one here. I don't know what, I, can't, I, I don't know what it's called, I didn't read it. I probably should have done that. There's a bunch of gold in the top. 
some cobwebs. It's kind of just an old abandoned little shed. And then we've got the broken bridge, which is cool, because the next build is the Wild West Trust Bridge. So what I did is I carried it on like the bridge along, but I kind of made the end of this one all broken as well. So it looked like part of it had collapsed. So there we go, there's the bridge. Nice bridge. Looks cool. Looks structurally sound. Obviously it's not, because it's broken on the other build, so... I guess whoever made that needs to up their bridge game. Alright, we've got like this old outdoor camping gear shop. This old picture here is really cool. Of the sun and the tree and the, and the little tent. And then inside you've got all the stuff that you need for camping. Including a tent. And I'm guessing this thing here is a stove. Got some flasks and other things. Yep, very, very nice. And I don't know if it was... Oh yeah, there was the campsite build, obviously. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We've got the little camper van there. We've got the red tents. And then we've got these little tents as well. As well as a campfire. Um, pile of firewood. And obviously logs to sit on. Very nice. Okay, next one. The luxury cabin. So I guess this is kind of following a camping holiday uh, theme. This is definitely a nice build. The bedroom up here. I feel like they probably could have made better use of the space. They have a lot of kind of big open rooms. So they ended up missing a bunch of rooms, I think. I don't think there's a toilet in here, as far as I remember. Which, obviously, is not great. But I mean, you're camping, so I guess you can just take your shit outside if you need to. I don't think anyone would care. It might attract some bears or something, I don't know. Okay, then we have the pool party. I guess this kind of follows a holiday theme. It's like a holiday villa kind of place. It's a very nice pool. Got the little basketball hoop and the little, little um, diving board. As well as this nice water feature. Some sun beds and a nice lounge area and a hot tub. So yeah, very cool. Pretty sure I've said that about all of them and I'm pretty sure I've said that before. Uh, oh yeah, I guess it is following a holiday theme because we've got a beach right here. Got a bunch of sandcastles, towels, uh, windbreaks, bins, and obviously the lifeguard's hut or tower. I don't know why he's got a fridge of ice creams in there. It doesn't look like a shop to me. And now for the next one, we've got a fishing pier. I guess it's somewhat following the holiday theme. Um, I guess it's more of just a seaside theme, isn't it? It's quite a nice looking pier. We've got this little hut at the start of it. With, for some reason, we've got a crate of rotting fish. But we've also got this rail of fresh fish. In fact, there's a bunch of them. Oh no, there's some more rotting fish. They really should get rid of that. Okay, next build, uh, the 1950s diner. So obviously we had uh, the gas station slash petrol station before that I showed. And uh, yeah, we've got a diner as well, which looks very nice. I'll have a quick look inside because it is a nice design. So Maybe a little empty to do with uh, a little more detail, but Nice colour scheme, and nice use of props. There's also an upstairs, I'm pretty sure there's, I'm pretty sure it's a gym. I don't know what the relevance of that is. Nice old boxing ring and uh, punch bag, and some weights. Very nice. And if we go upstairs, 
that we got up here. If we can manage to get up. Um, oh, a little music studio. That's cool. And if we go up the ladder... Well, it's just a rooftop. Okay, next one. I think we are getting towards the end. This video has been... Whoa, 45 minutes we've been recording so far. Flipping neck. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is obviously the 1950s style outdoor drive-in cinema. I really like that poster, that's cool. As well as this one up here. And these lights as well. And how they've kind of made the arrow on top of it. Very cool. Um, yeah, so we buy our tickets here. What if we just drive straight in? What are they going to do? Got the speakers. For the film. You got some um, stalls for snacks. As well as a nice little diner here as well. Cool. Alrighty, let's uh, let's go to the next one. The 1950s dance hall. Okay. This is a nice building as well. Looks good from the outside. It's got the music notes up there. As well as posters, I guess, for what events they have going on here. Side, we've got a cheerleader. We've got these balloons. Um, a juice fountain. As well as a stage with the instruments on. And it's all nicely lit as well. Which makes it look good. Let's have a little let's have a little play. What's our band gonna be called? The uh, It could be Captain Brickman. As we are playing as Dan Brickman but with a pirate hat on, so I guess that would work. And then we've got the Chinese New Year builds. So these must have come out in 2018. Whenever the Chinese New Year is, I can't remember. No offence to any Chinese people watching, but... I'm not Chinese, so... That is my excuse. There's a bunch of nice props that came with these builds. With these benches and... Uh, these little decorations, the lamps and stuff. And also this tuk-tuk truck, obviously. Oh, and the fireworks. Let's not forget. There we go. We just set one off by accident. And we missed the display. Okay. Uh, the next one is the Chinese New Year Dog Shrine. I mean, the statue doesn't really look like a dog. I mean, is that what dogs look like in China? I don't know. I've never been. So I guess I can't really comment on that. But I don't think dogs look like that. Let's have a look at the fireworks. Let's have a big one. Right. Lovely. Um... Yeah, I mean, the detail on these builds is very nice. Good use of colours. I mean, it kind of... I guess it catches the kind of traditional Chinese decoration and colours somewhat. As I said, I don't really have a clue, so I can't really comment on that, to be honest. Um, we have the flower garden. Is that what it's called? Oops, I accidentally skipped that one. What's this? No, oh my god, we just completely messed this up. Uh, hold on a second. Alright, Chinese New Year, Pagoda. 
We've got the Chinese New Year Dog Shrine, the Chinese New Year Flower Garden, and the Chinese New Year Temple Gate. Okay, so that's one we have at the moment. And uh, we've got the Flower Garden as well. I'll quickly place that. We can have a quick look. It's kind of nice. There's not actually that many flowers, to be honest, for a flower garden. Oh, there we go. The lanterns are lighting up now. They look so good when they're lit up. I don't actually ever remember seeing them lit up. I'm not going to lie. Because it really does look good. Uh, yeah, we've got the temple gate thing. This, this build's amazing, actually. Just the amount of detail. And the design. Very, very good. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Quickly. I've been recording for 50 minutes now. Um, yeah, we've got the, the rest of the Easter... Um, the Easter builds. Uh, so this one is obviously a, a rabbit burrow. We've got the brown woman rabbit there. And we've got baskets of eggs around the place as well as these chicken stalls with eggs and uh, a bunch of kind of exclusive rabbits to these sets I think. I think these rabbits came with these sets. Got a blue one here. There's also a pink one up there and a green one which you may have noticed are not natural colours for bunny rabbits. Oh apparently that's it but I think we did miss some. Um, so, bear with me one moment, whilst I find... Oh, here we go. The rabbit warren, the egg house, uh, the farmhouse. Okay, we haven't seen that one. It's just a, like a nice old house. It's not very big. I mean, there's literally, it looks like there's two couches in there. But I, I like the use of the water wheel, I guess. And, yeah, the egg fair. This is the last one, I think. So we've got the white rabbit man with this one. And we've got these, like, market stalls. As well as these kind of crates of eggs around the place. Okay. I think that is the lot. That is a lot of builds. How many was it? I don't know if anyone counted. I certainly did not. Um... So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos. And, uh, you know, definitely go and get this pack if you have missed any of the builds. But I think most of you watching have all of the builds. Or possibly don't have one or two. Um, like I said, I think the only one I missed was the hospital. I did get it from somebody else. But I didn't get it when it came out. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.